high divers and photographers underwater out there. If you use camera under the water, please make sure that you are in this position. This position under the water. Not like this. Okay. So if you are like this, I would suggest you to have your friend, buddy friend, buddy divers to take picture of you so that you know if you are a camera man like this or like this. So instead of taking pictures of the marine life, maybe your friend can take pictures of you. You can be the fish. That's one of my suggestions, of course. But yes, let's look at this one. Seven simple things that divers should do. Okay? So you want to respect marine life and photo sh for, uh, shoot photos without disturbing the environment. That is confirmed. You have to do that. We enter the world of their world and please respect them. Okay? Practice buoyancy control and photography skills. So for this one, you look at this guy. He's the way he's holding the camera. Okay, that is the right position. We always stay horizontal and this body position and streamline and legs up. Okay, so do not touch things, only touch rocks or dead, if, dead coral if necessary. So if you don't know if it's dead, do not touch it because some of the dead corals or rocks do look like a stonefish. So no, if you can, try not to touch things at all under the water. At all, okay? Avoid stirring the sediment or keeping your distance, okay? If you kick the sediments like the bottom, the sand, bish, 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 you're kicking things, obviously it's bad for your pictures too. So basically, it's all low visibility now. It's not the environment, it's you that making a mess. Like this guy and killing things. Alright, let's go back. Practice advanced feeding techniques. So, it, you can check out one of my videos under the description below about flatter kicks. But later on, in one of the videos that I will make in the future, is basically like a frog kick too. So, yeah, you stay up. Your fin stays up. So if you do a flatter, right, it's, it's also important so that you get that technique first because a lot of people are diving more like their leg down here. Like, I don't know, they look like a like an L. Somehow they forgot they have a feet. They need to push it up, like push it up, okay? So practice that first, then I will make that video about frog kick, all right? So you can hover like a chopper and taking pictures better. Or please sign up for a big performance buoyancy uh, specialty course and basically you have to do just two dives to get your specialty cuts okay like a buoyancy clinic ensure all equipment is secured and do not drag over reef so like your uh, SPGs okay needs to be tucked in all right because it's just that, okay? Uh, your pointers, if you have a pointer. So you have to think about that. Anything that you bring under the water, you have to make sure you do not drag them now, like disturb, drag them now. Okay, that's not good. Support conservation and campaign of green fin, definitely. If you don't know what is green fin, do check them out, right? Greenfins.net. I love them. I am a member of green fin members. So that's why I want to show you these, okay? It is very, very important for us to again commit and protect our marine life, okay? And basically, we want to make sure and encourage your students to do these simple guidelines, okay? All right, that's it. That's the only thing that you have to do. So don't be like this. You see this guy diving and squeezing the bread and feeding the fish and everything. If you want to know why fish feeding is bad, do check out um, one of my videos that I have. Um, I do have that and talk about that. I'm sorry for being nagging all the time. Nag, nag, nag all the time. But it's really, really bad. Okay, and then do not wear gloves because when you wear gloves, you want it to touch things, okay? Do not collect anything and buy anything from shells or anything like that. That's not cool. Leave everything in the water. Just take pictures. Leave only bubbles, okay? All right, do not step things on corals, yeah? Do not place camera on reef or move marine life just to capture for better shots, okay? And do not 
chase, touch, poke, yeah, spear or capture marine life. Okay, we don't do that. Put things in your pocket and everything. Do not litter also. So again, stop littering cigarette butts, people. Okay, cigarette butts. Stop littering cigarette butts. It's just too much in the sea. It's unacceptable for me. I can't do it anymore. So, okay, you guys. And one more thing that I wanted to share with you is basically the way that you hold your camera. So whenever you are being streamlined, right, you want to make sure that you don't look at your camera like this and you're having your position like this. And you will actually one is bad for you you will tend to go up okay you will get hit by boat propellers so you want to be streamlined and you angle up your camera you angle it you angle it you do not move your torso like from your head to your waist you move your torso to take things you will end up on top to the surface which is really really dangerous not for you not just like talking about marine life that you will definitely fin and kick everywhere you also will injure yourself because you are so distracted by the camera and you tend to take pictures like a normal world like this like this like this nope like this streamline and turn your camera like that like that like that okay and then if you want to zoom instead of playing with the zoom button too much all you gotta do is exhale to zoom inhale you will rise so again that's is buoyancy so that's one other thing that i wanted to share with you because zooming in and out to play with that so much under the water you will end up frustrated and you will start harassing the animal because the animal start running away from you and then you get frustrated because you don't get a shot and then you try to touch them make them to be like stress you know you chase them and everything because you don't have a perfect shot so that's one of the tips that i want to share with you and thank you so much you guys for watching mel scuba world on youtube and if you are a new subscriber don't forget to turn on that notification bell to not miss my video on scuba tips, scuba facts, and eco-dive living. Till then, you guys. Bye!